Hello everyone, I'm Tilisiana here. Link to my Divinity Art in the description below and also for my Patreon if you'd like to do that. Warning, this video will contain pictures from Google that is not mine. Please go and give respect to the owners of these pictures and copyrights. And also it's going to contain spoilers from the new episode, No Second Princess, No Second Chances. And if you haven't seen the episode, it should be up on daily motion. So if you don't want to see this, click away or else stay. Yeah, here we go. Three, two, one. So the episode starts with Twilight eh, that have invited Princess Celestia to an important dinner where uh, Starlight Glimmer can show that she had become better at making friends, uh, so her task for the day is to make new friends. And uh, now I'm thinking like, it's not a very long time to give a Starlight Glimmer just one day to make, you know, friends with some pony and maybe some of the ponies already know about her past. I'm guessing that most of the ponies know about her past, so of course there will be ponies that will not like that. That's just the way it is. There's a lot of people looking into the past and stuff like that. So I understand why it's not easy for her to get new friends. And I also feel like Twilight should have given her maybe a week or something. Um, I. I'm quite sure that, well, Twilight was lucky with, you know, Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, Applejack and Rainbow Dash and Rarity uh, because they all fit together. They all have some sort of connection. So it was easy for her to uh, get new friends and she also didn't have any background to hinder her in anything. So yeah. But um, the episode starts with this, that uh, Twilight sends Starlight Glimmer out to find friends. And uh, Starlight actually panics uh, because she really wants to make friends, but she can't. So she goes to the spa and try to relax and meet uh, Trixie. Now first I was like very excited to see Trixie. And they, they have a lot in common, so of course I knew that they were will be become friends. And uh, you know, Starlight actually did the right thing by taking um, Trixie to see Twilight uh, and showing her, well, this is my new friend and stuff like that. But I don't feel like Twilight is handling it very good. I know that she has her doubts and stuff like that but if she just you know trusted uh, Starlight Glimmer to start with none of this would have happened but Twilight actually goes out to help uh, Starlight Glimmer trying to find other friends than Trixie because she thinks that Trixie is going to be a bad influence on uh, Starlight now I must say if there's anyone that's going to be a bad influence on anybody, it's the other way around. You know, because I don't feel like Trixie have done uh, some of the same severe stuff as Starlight have did. And if Twilight can forgive Starlight for what she have done, I certainly hope that she can forgive Trixie and she also... Uh, assu I'm assuming that she does that in the end of the episode, but I actually already thought that she was over that because, you know, Trixie couldn't help it. She was uh, under the Alicorn amulet spell and uh, it was not happy. She was not happy or she's using, he, she used a lot of her magic for evil stuff. And when it was broken, she all got blamed for it and stuff like that. Now Starlight was um, aware of what she did and, you know, took the cutie marks of a whole village and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I also understand why Trixie wants the help with the magical act, but I would actually have asked Trixie what she have 
done before before I was willing to help her. But I really do, do like the result of, you know, Trixie is telling uh, Twilight uh, how I won over you. Your student chooses me over you, so I win, kind of. Um, she has this attitude and she always had that. But I was actually not expecting her to break down and cry and be like... Um, one that still wants to be her friend or stuff like that. I could be wrong that it's all just to make her a magic act, but I feel like it was genuine that uh, Trixie was also sad and uh, she needed to trust Starlight Glimmer 100% with that magic number or else she would have been eaten by the Manticore. So I do like the resolve of the episode and also like that Twilight actually learns that she can completely trust Starlight now. But I'm still thinking that there's going to go something wrong with this because, you know, Starlight still, I still believe that she has some evil inside of her. I know that she's joking around with it and stuff like that, but I don't like it. I, I'm like, no, you shouldn't, no, just, you know, it's it's in the past and we have forgiven you. Uh, you don't need to be, she's actually, I feel a little bit rude over the twilight in the start by saying that she wants to magical enchant uh, all of Ponyville by doing, making them do certain things. And she actually also tries this. She tries to make a cake for Mrs. Cake. She tries to give, a, you know, Big Mac a voice and stuff like that. And I, I really don't think like she would do stuff like that. But maybe it's because we don't know uh, Starlight that well. I wish that we knew more about the things and stuff like that and of course the the spells and stuff like that is not helping her making um, more friends but I'm actually very intrigued about what is going to happen now because isn't Trixie a traveling pony with the you know the act and stuff like that if she is, then, you know, Starlight Glimmer have to go with Trixie. Now, I'm not thinking this is going to happen. I actually feel like there's uh, some way that Trixie can stay in polling will or something like that. But, um, yeah, what, what was I thinking about elsewise? Oh, yeah, I don't like the fact that uh, Princess Celestia is just uh, put at the table and nothing is happening. I know that Twilight uh, went out to find Starlight Glimmer and, you know, talked her to help uh, Trixie and stuff like that, but she never went back to, um, you know, Princess Celestia. And even though that it's meant to be funny, I don't see the funny at all in that. I actually uh, thought that was a little bit, you know, yeah very childish or how to say that because she's uh, the student of the princess she knows how to hold a uh, agreement and she knows how to hold her word uh, which means she, she should have gone when she told starlight those things she should have gone back to princess celestia and told her uh, that um, you know important dinner was meant for other date or something like that not let her sit there with uh, the other ponies uh, the other ponies for making friends uh, yeah i don't feel like that was actually necessary either i like the um, actually the choices of uh, vinyl or the dj pwn and the uh, derpy and um, yeah the grumpy I'm sorry, I forgot his name, but the, the mule, uh, I really do like the choices because I it's long time since we've seen the background ponies uh, in the episode so much, but 
I feel like it was not necessary. I I like the episode and I also like the message of it. I just feel like it could have been uh, done in a different way where, you know, yes, yeah, Starlight have to learn to trust Trixie completely and Trixie tr- uh, trusting Starlight completely, but it ends like that in a way so I'm not completely satisfied with this episode but I'm still going to see it again I feel like there were a lot of points maybe I did miss or something but then again let me know what you think in the comments down below do remember that inspiration is right around the corner do remember to take care of your loved ones and uh, friends and family and yourself. And that's actually all. Yeah, have a great day. Okay, bye.